it is that most special time of the week. No one cares. When America comes together and no, unites. No, it doesn't. I, there's one person dissenting segment. at least. It's free I money! <sighs> For your bucky. Free money! For your bucky. My college football picks against the spread. A sensational week last week. <laughs> Seven and one! No one cares. Seven and one! Where are you at on the season? 40, 28, and one. This is so stupid. <laughs> 40, 28, and 1. I got a 12-game. This is where it turns right here. Yeah. I'm gonna, it's time I'm gonna, for you to go in the I'm going to drop a, I'm going to drop an 0 and 9. Is it, Let's yeah, go. 9 games. So, 0 and 9. I'm here for it. <sighs> Good week. Let's keep the momentum going. Sending you the bad vibes. Max, what's our first you game? jerk. <laughs> I like how we're starting with the only game that's interesting this week. It's the, we, go in, we go in chronological order. All right. Well, that's another thing that's dumb about this segment. <laughs> Number 9, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Taking on TCU, 11 a.m. Saturday. The Frogs are only seven-and-a-half-point dogs, which I guess assumes they won't turn the ball over six times like always. That's probably what they're guessing. Um, I I don't like this matchup for TCU um, for a number of reasons. First and foremost, the offense continues to be a problem, and I know that Oklahoma's defense is not exactly a world beater. Mm -hmm. But I think that it's a better defense than Tech's. Sure. And Tech held them in check. Uh, be like they're gonna th like oh, TCU is gonna have to score twenty eight points to have a chance in this game. Yeah. And that's probably not going to be enough. Twenty eight's gonna, not gonna be enough. For the other side of the ball, um, as good as this TCU defense is, like this off this Oklahoma offense is coming off a loss and a bye, mm -hmm. okay? They're mad and they're they, rested. Exactly right. <laughs> that, that's a bad combination. I like Oklahoma in this one. I'm going to take Oklahoma minus 7.5. What do you think, Ish? Yeah, I, I, I don't see a case for TCU to mm -hmm. cover this. Like, Oklahoma's going to run all over them. I, I, I have a bad feeling about this one. Yeah. I have a bad feeling. There's too much right. Like, like you mentioned, Oklahoma coming off a loss, off a bye. They're mad. They're rested. They're going to want to be vindicated. Mm -hmm. Like Ruffin McNeil is going to want to prove himself as a coordinator now. Like Again, it, it just keeps coming back to the, the TCU offense, which I just don't think is reliable enough to to, yeah. to put your money on. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to go with Oklahoma minus 7.5. What's next, Max? Maybe that means that this is just going to be one of those weird ones that like, Maybe makes no sense. Yeah. It, uh, that's 100% possible. possible. I don't know. I have no idea at this point. Mm -hmm. Let's get even less interesting. Mm -hmm. Houston, the Cougs. Traveling up to Maryland to take on Navy. 2.30 p.m. Saturday. The Cougs are 13-point favorites. They might do more than that. I don't know. Yeah, I got to tell you. like, I think that everybody kind of looks at Navy, and they assume that it's the same team every year. Yeah, it's it's not. This is a bad Navy team. This is a this is a pretty underwhelming Navy team, <clears throat> and I don't just say that because I'm an Army guy. Go Army, beat Navy. But um, Go Navy beat Army. Uh, but I would say that, that the, thing, the thing that stands out to me – the thing that stands out to me is that this Navy defense is hot garbage. Not this <laughs> Navy defense is hot, hot, hot garbage. And you want to talk about – like, I don't think Houston's a perfect team. I think they're probably better than they've shown, and I think they're rounding into form. But the one thing they've always had is that offense is hitting on they're all humming. cylinders. And uh, I know Navy's going to run that triple option, but you think that triple option is going to play with Ed Oliver? I don't. I'm going to go with I, – I think Houston covers it. I think Houston uh, – I'm going to take Houston minus 13. Like Houston's road. defense hasn't been good this year, but Navy's offense hasn't been the triple no. option machine that we've seen this year. It's just it's just fine. It's like, been fine. Yeah. It hasn't been as effective, and I think this – it's hard for me to say Houston's defense has been bad, so Navy's going to run all over them because it's always such a weird thing when you play yeah. against triple option teams. I think that Houston has the athleticism to be able to contain it. They have the trump card in – at Oliver, mm -hmm. and so I think that he's going to disrupt some stuff in the middle, and I, yeah, Houston's offense is going to light this team up. <laughs> the, the, the defense, I think, is also trending in a positive way. Right. Uh, they were very good against uh, Texas Southern. Mm -hmm. uh, they were good against Tulsa. They were great last week against East Carolina. I think they keep that going. I like them. Uh, I like Houston at minus 13. And, uh, thir 13? Is that what it was? Is it 13? 13, yeah. Houston minus 13. What's next, Max? Let's head to my favorite city. Let's go to New Orleans. Louisville? Oh. oh. Louisville. No. No, not Louisville. Let's go to New Orleans. I'll ride along with the ponies. Mm -hmm. 2.30 p.m. Saturday. Where they're going to take on the Tulane Green Wave. My wife's alma mater. 
ponies are only seven point dogs. We got this. Uh, this it's is punch and range. This is maybe the toughest game to call. It is. Um, because SMU, I think, is trending in a positive way. They're getting better. Um, I think that they're trending in a positive way. Both these teams are coming off of buys. Mm-hmm. Even you know, even that loss to UCF, I think you just kind of said, okay, well, that's that's kind that's of UCF. you expected it. Um, but the, maybe you know, I think that things are, are turning better. This Tulane team is weird. This mm-hmm. Tulane team mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily do anything great, especially offensively, but they just kind of do enough, mm-hmm. and they they kind of they're they're in a lot of games. They're in a lot of games. My question is, can SMU take advantage of what is a wounded and not very good Tulane offense? A Tulane offense that doesn't throw the ball well pretty much at all. Um, they have to run the ball, including with Corey Dalphine. Remember him? Port Arthur mm-hmm. Memorial? Um, I would, I've got Tulane written here. Tulane minus seven, maybe being at home helps. I don't know. This is the toughest one to call for me. Um, I'm going to... St- I'll be a homer. I'm going to go I'm going to go with SMU in the points. I'm going to be a homer. I think SMU gets it done on the road. You're asking bad to do good. I know I am. But uh, but either way I'd, I'd be asking them to do I'd rather have the points on my side then because yeah. it's two bad teams. Um okay. I'm going to take SMU plus 7. What's next? Right. Or I'm sorry. No, I'm definitely thinking. going with Tulane. I Are can't, you? I can't trust this SMU team. Okay. Uh basically it comes down to to me does Willie? Do I think Willie Fritz has his team at least knowing what they want to do on offense? You know, it, it, it's they're, mm-hmm. they're struggling to do it, but I think Willie Fritz has a better hold of Tulane in general than Sonny Dykes uh, right okay, now. Okay, you convinced me. I'm going no, back. I'm no, going to take no, you. No, no, I'm no, taking no, Tulane. No, 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 you convinced me. That's a compelling no, argument. No, it isn't. That's a compelling no, argument. Don't listen to me. <laughs> stick with your gut. I'm taking Tulane minus seven. <laughs> What's next, Max? This is mine. Like I said, I don't feel any good about it. I'd feel terrible. I'm about on the pick. Fritz train here. I'm gonna. I'm, I agree. I'm gonna go with Willie Fritz. I'm gonna Professional take and seasoned picker Greg Tepper, <laughs> mm-hmm. resolute in all of his calls. Just feeling great. Yep. <laughs> feeling great. Well, we'll make this one easy for you. Mm. UTEP's heading to Ruston, 2:30 p.m. Oh, Saturday, man. where the Miners are 24 and a half point dogs. So the o- literally the only thing that gives me pause about this, literally the one thing, is 24 and a half. Right. Sure. That's a big line. Uh, for example, um, S and P Plus has this as a twenty-point game. But they also right? what did they they did twenty-eight on UTSA last week? Yeah, they did twenty or the thirty-one. And, and and logic says UTEP is worse, right? Yeah, and they're at home. Yeah, I'm gonna take Louisiana Tech. That's. <sighs> I'm gotcha. A, we're, I'm, gonna, we're messing with your brain no, today. No, I'm, I'm taking Louisiana Tech. The only thing, again, the only thing that gives me pause. Louisiana Tech isn't great, by the way. They're not some world beater. But they are a competent offense and a f- okay defense. Um, you know, I'd love to see UTEP really surprise me and, and continue this this role that they've, they've relatively speaking, uh, that they've been on basically coming off of a bye. Um, they've been close in their last three games. Maybe they can keep it close, but I also think they're going on the road, and that's bad news. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna say they're gonna cover. Oh, gonna, because like they. I mean, you, UTEP knows how to sling the mud. Like oh, they, you think they, they can just muck this thing yeah, out? Yeah, like they make like this thing real ugly. Mentioned the past couple of games, like we last week's game against uh, 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 North or two weeks ago, yeah, the game North against Texas. Texas. We looked at the final score. We're like, really? Yeah, that was it. And yeah. then UTSA, we kind of did the same thing. It was like, oh, they're still around. They can muck it up. Don't switch your pick. I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> But they, I think they're gonna throw some mud. They're gonna make things weird. And you, LaTeX a really weird team. Yeah, I don't know. Week I to can week, see, I can see them laying egg for I'm sure. Gonna, I'm gonna go with them. Okay, go with them but I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna take Louisiana Tech minus twenty four and a half. What's next, Max? I've gone with all favorites so far. You have. Good luck with that. This one should make you should be pretty easy. I think mm-hmm. uh, all the things are are in place yes, for this. I agree. Kansas, coming to the South Plains. Take on Texas Tech. Two thirty p.m. Saturday. Tech, 20-and-a-half-point favorites. Boy, if they don't beat that. This is a Tech team, or I'm sorry, this is a Kansas team that at one point wasn't terrible. Right. <laughs> they appear to have regressed back to terrible. Um, they fired their offensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. Um, they've got a, they're have got they on a bye week, but I just don't I, don't I don't see how they keep this thing close. I think Tech should win by three touchdowns. That's basically what you're saying. Can they beat right. Kansas by three touchdowns at home? Is Bowman back? Uh, that I don't know. That'll be interesting, right? Because uh, I'd feel even better about it. Yeah, if Bowman was QB. back. Yeah. Uh, according to a Google search, um, needs more time to make return. Well, I mean, you'd also don't have to play him in this one, and you'll still win it. Correct. But 
do you trust Jed Duffy to lead that offense I to a so. yeah. three touchdown win? I think that I, I think, think so. That. I think I, I mean, trust he, the defense. I mean, Fair. he put up th- he put up how many thirty four? He helped put up thirty four yeah. on West Virginia. The yeah. other the I other underrated that. thing about Tech is that we're, they're really good in special teams. They're a really good special teams team, um, and Kansas is not. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go Tech minus twenty. I wouldn't be surprised if I mean I'm, I'm picking Tech. Don't get me yeah. wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if Kansas has a little bit of a jump because. Mm-hmm. Teams usually do that when they fire a coordinator or something. They have that one week spike, maybe. But Doug Meacham was probably just a fall guy for what's inevitably yes, going to come. But, I agree with that. Uh, but yeah, no, Jet Duffy shouldn't have a problem putting up points against this uh, Kansas defense. What's next, Max? Oh boy, the games just keep getting more interesting. It'd be a miracle if anyone's watching by the end of this show. Ooh. UTSA going to Hattiesburg, 6 p.m. Saturday. The Roadrunners, 17 and a half point dogs. This is a. Southern, this is such a bad matchup for UTSA because the like is we, do we all agree UTSA's offense is terrible? Yes. Southern Miss's defense is pretty good. It's pretty good. They, I mean, even even last week, I know that it didn't like the final score didn't indicate it against North Texas. Yeah. But they were that's a pretty good defense. I mean, they held Auburn to twenty four points. It's pretty good. They they have a good chance of shutting out UTSA. Now the offense isn't great. The offense is, is, is pretty below average. Uh, you know, Jack Abraham, they're basically entirely relying on Jack Abraham, their quarterback, making plays. And he's pretty good, but I don't know. This is a, this is a weird game to call, but I am going to go with the home team here. I like Southern Miss minus 17 and a half. I think they covered that. Another favorite that I'm going with. Um, but, yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, I, d- I don't think UTSA can score enough. That's the thing. They, we, we this game we really might be 21 nothing. We mentioned La Tech being whatever. UTSA put up three. Against them, I know. Like it's mm. yeah, and this no. is a much better defense right. at home. Right, I, I like Southern Miss minus seventeen and a half. Same. What's next, Max? Oh, sorry, Ish, we got to do this. Eh, you know, <laughs> they still got to play football, I guess. Texas State's heading to Louisiana as well this weekend, taking on Monroe, six p.m. Saturday. The Bobcats, eleven point dogs. That's they they can do this. That's what Texas State's going to cover this. Oh, okay. oh, here it is. Texas Let's State. go. I was going to go with that. I you can go gonna, first. I was gonna, no, go ahead. No, go no, first. no, 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 no. Go ahead. Segment. It's all we, good. Got to, we got to Ishmael, we go to yeah. our Texas State correspondent, Ishmael Johnson. Texas State has three games on the schedule where they should be within double digits, re- theoretically, in my opinion. This is one of them. This is probably the last game they could win. Actually, no, next week will be. But I think this will be competitive. He said literally everything I was going to say. <laughs> okay, that was easy. I, I, like, tech, three, I like Texas tech State plus Texas State's in 11. panic mode. Yes. Trust me, Texas State's in panic mode. They have three games on the schedule. This one, New Mexico State mm-hmm. and Georgia State. After that, you get the buzz saw the Sun Belt. Mm-hmm. And so these next three weeks are going to be huge. I really think this is one of the weeks where... I think they cover. Uh, yeah, I think they definitely cover. I like I like Texas State plus 11. What's next, Max? Let's drink more sadness. Rice <laughs> is going to play Florida International, 6.30 p.m. Saturday. The Owls, hoot hoot, 23 mm. and a half point. Dog. Did you see my tweet? My wife was watching it, and she was watching the UAB game with me. And no. she said, oh, no, boo hoot. Oh! <laughs> I was like, Tep wife! Pretty good. Whoa! Pretty good. Dropping bombs. Pretty good. Here's the sad thing, is that Florida International is not awesome. No, that's the other thing, yep. They're just not very good. You but know the score of this game last year? Yeah, I do. 13-7. to <laughs> <laughs> by you. Um, <laughs> slobber knocker. I just, I <sighs> cannot, I just can't trust. I also, we also don't know what the status of Emmanuel Sukba is. We yeah. also don't know what the court status Stankovic, of quarterback st- yeah. uh, Sean Stankovic is. I cannot trust a Rice team on the road to do anything. Nope. Like I just I can't do it. I that like tw- again twenty three and a half is super rich for a team that is not very good yeah. in FIU. But I just I cannot bring myself to 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 trust Rice. I'm going to go with FIU minus twenty three and a half. Same. Yeah, yeah, you said everything. Top. Finally, Max. I think that's one of those ones though where you just sit there and you go what. None of this makes sense. I by know. hook or by crook, they'll cover. Mm-hmm. You know, that's yeah. that might be the weird one there. I don't know. And now we start with a might be a good game, and we are back to a might be a good game. It's North Texas yeah. going to Birmingham, playing UAB, 6.30 p.m. North Texas, a one-point favorite. So this game, by the way, let me pull up the, the latest. I know this game has moved, but we will stick with this original line, which was uh, North Texas is a one-point Where does it favorite. move to? Let me see. I think Pulling it's the one. Up. Huh? Is it? Let me see. I want to make sure we're we're being entirely honest here, because I pull these I pull these these lines on like Tuesday. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, yeah, now Texas. This has moved two and a half points. Oh. Actually, North Texas is a one and a half point dog now. Whoa! But, but we will we will operate under which is technically I think. W- I'm going to take North Texas. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? No. You're picking it's, a winner. It's, it's, That's it's what pick, you're doing it's picking here. Picking a winner. Yeah. yeah. Um. So this is this is a really fun game, and and I think that you know UAB. I know that we we just kind of piled on Rice last week because they were just totally inept. Right. But this 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 UAB defense is really good, and they're going to test North Texas. Um, their pass defense is really. Their good. Their pass defense is excellent. It's up to the running game, I think, to to really get something going because their run defense is fine. In fact, they they t- they do tend to give up a fair number of big runs, mm-hmm. so it's going to be up to this North Texas running defense uh, and or running offense to to get going. Their offense is nothing special. Uh, I think that the North Texas defense should be able to turn them over a couple times. I believe in the main green. I think North Texas goes on the road and wins it. Uh, I don't care what the line is. It's it's picking. It's a, essentially yeah. a pick them. Yeah. I'm gonna go with North Texas. I think they win this game. I think so too. I think UAB's offense is also really awesome. They can they're really balanced as well. I mm-hmm. think this is gonna be a fun game, but. Yeah, I, basically, I like North Texas. Just, I mean, my can, guts, can my make, guts like North a, Texas. Can they make enough big plays with their playmakers against a really yeah. good defense? And mm-hmm. I think they can. You know, we, me and Shahan yeah. talked about it yesterday on his podcast, Texas uh, Republic of Football. Subscribe, Bussy, subscribe. I know on iTunes, uh, they have more playmakers. Guyton, Bussy, those guys. Mm-hmm. I still expect those guys to have a big game. I agree. So those are my free money picks. I like Oklahoma minus seven and a half at TCU. I like North Houston minus thirteen at Navy. I like Tulane minus seven. At home against uh, SMU, I like Louisiana Tech, kind of, minus 24.5 <laughs> uh, at home against UTEP. I like Texas Tech, minus 20.5 at Kansas, or at home against Kansas. I like Southern Miss, minus 17.5 at home against UTSA. I like Texas State, plus 11 at Louisiana Monroe. I like FIU, minus 23.5 at home against Rice. And I like North Texas, uh, minus 1, I guess, is what we're going with, minus 1 uh, at UAB. 